And I told the guy, oh, those are, those are quite long. And he was like, you want them shorter? Full harmony. Happy Friday. Hope all is well on this February 2nd. 2024 day um that is the laundry i was actually watching my videos on youtube because i'm in this place where i'm like do i want to film and still work obviously my full-time job or am i just done with youtube altogether um but i'm watching my old videos and it is so funny even though it's, i don't get views by the way if you're watching this please go ahead and subscribe like <laughs> and comment but just watching the different stages of my life is uh it's fascinating it's so fascinating like watching these youtube videos from like three years ago where i was and what i was filming where it was mentally and emotionally, and I was still able to show up for myself, is amazing. I love it. Um, yes, I, I'm, I, I wanna go back to her, but like a better version of her. That is my goals for 2024. And if you're watching this, this is probably my first video of 2024 because I wasn't really sure, like I said, if I should continue filming since I haven't reached my goal, but it's okay. I'm still working and I'm still doing everything I need to do. So <laughs> it's just so nostalgic watching it. Um, also, my hair is growing back it is straightened right now but uh i don't think i'm gonna cut it again i watching those videos too and looking at my hair i'm like oh my god why do i do this i always want to cut off all my hair and then grow it back so yes i'm not gonna cut it i did trim it again but um i like what it's doing and it's it's pretty healthy now as you can see my ends are not bad at all so yeah she's growing her hair out she's living healthy she's being healthy and she's paying off all her debt 2024 this is the year i plan to pay off all my debt um so far so good like i'm on track after this month february i should be even closer um to my goal like i should on honestly be halfway there by may so that is my goal i will probably do a whole budget um excel spreadsheet so easy and free i've fell for paying for services in the past and will not be doing that again um but i will show you guys my plan and how it's how it's looking but yeah i just was feeling so inspired by myself <laughs> i inspired myself to to film again and just to get into doing things that I like and starting fresh but so far I would say it's been pretty good year I mean we only one month in but January all of the goals that I have set for myself one um getting my homework situation down check um going to the doctors, getting my health under control, check, getting my weight un under control, which I have gone down, check. I should probably do a video on that. I plan to do my um, Fit Fridays at the end of the month once I hit um, my first set of goal with my weight. But yeah, it's, it's, it's not looking bad it's not looking bad and if you are into astrology you probably are aware of this turn and shift that we're in i'm a cancer so <laughs> i've had like 15 years of not the best luck apparently which i was unaware that that was happening and kind of shifting into this new 
era, which is feeling amazing. My sons are actually staying with their auntie, aunties tonight. So I'm free, freed up, got off work early. That's always amazing to be an adult and to do some things. So yeah, um, I will post with you guys later <laughs> and keep it, I'll keep it, keep it going. Keep the momentum of this feeling that I'm currently in. See you guys. Hey. This is what I'm eating today for breakfast. This is about 21 grams of protein, chia seeds, um, about 12 grams of chia seeds, protein, blueberries, and I'm going to put some honey because I do like it sweet. I was going to mix carotene in it. But I have to work out later, so I'm going to have a protein shake with quarantine in it. I might add some apples as well, but this should take me to about almost 40, close to 40. I may add another bit of protein. I don't know from where, but this will get me over 30 at least for breakfast. Cool. I just wet my hair in a little filming. Washed my face. I was my stomach and I ate. So I don't know what that's about. I'm trying not to talk. But anyways, I'm going to get my nails done. It's been months. The last time I had my nails done was in December for Christmas, before Christmas. Yeah, that was the last time. So actually it hasn't been months. I guess it's only been one month. I took them off like right after Christmas or beginning of January sometime and it is February so it's been one month but it felt like months which is so funny um, my hair was straight and I just did not wash it I just went in with this water bottle
has been dry for the last two weeks. And that's simply because I've been, I had it straight. a mess behind me i'm so sorry and it's many hours later after i was whispering it's because i was in my restroom and i realized that i could hear my neighbor clearly it was disturbing um and so if he, i can hear him he could hear me and I got shy and I, I didn't want to speak loud. But anyways, many hours later, I could not take you guys with me because I'm quite timid when I'm filming in public. Got my nails done. As you can see, I can't stop talking with them. Literally, claws. They're so long. And I told the guy, oh, those are, those are quite long. And he was like, you want them shorter? These will be shorter in two weeks. Anyways, got my nails done. Um, oh, my ears. I also went and re-pierced my second hole. And I took out my hoop and my helix up here because it has been giving me issues. And it keeps like keloiding. Keyloid, I think that's the word. And so I took it out for a flat back um, to see if I have less issues. I left one in, but this ear in particular, in particular, always has issues with healing. So we'll see what happens. This one, obviously I did nothing. Still looks good. I probably will change my hoops eventually. I want to change them to something like this, a little bit more sparkle. But that's pretty much, that's all I did. And yeah, I should have took you guys with me. It was quite nice to go out midweek, do something for myself, went to Starbucks. I did. I don't go to Starbucks often. In fact, I haven't at all this year. That was the first time this year and it most likely will be the last. And talked to one of my besties. I haven't talked to her in so long. I feel like talking to her really was like a recharge i loved it so it made me want to go out and take care of myself but now we are going to baseball practice which has consumed our lives and i don't like it but yeah we're gonna go to baseball practice this weekend i have some plans so that should be interesting and you know i'll just keep bringing you guys along here i hope I can make it with these nails. <laughs> it's so long. Every time. Every time. I'm so lucky. I'm the luckiest. I know I look crazy, but it's okay. Because I'm making breakfast for my sons. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the grocery store. And I'll take you guys with you this time. <laughs> Go to the grocery store. Yesterday was the perfect day to take off for work. The perk, it was sunny. It was nice weather. Um, I felt energized probably because I just I talked to my bestie. I felt 
good. I was in a nice, good mood, positive the whole day throughout the night as well. Today it is dark and gloomy. It's reminding me of Seattle right now, but still gonna have a nice day. Gonna go to the grocery store. We're making breakfast. My sons have a short day, so of course, in their short days, they don't go. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna make myself breakfast. I'm gonna go to the gym. After the gym, I'll probably go to the grocery store. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk about that gym thing because I've been doing pretty well. I'll, t I'll talk to you guys about what I've been doing. I have been doing the um, four quarters. So I'm doing four quarters of my life this year. So first 90 days, what that looks like. And then my ending mark, which would be, <clears throat> excuse me, end of March, what that will look like. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Just wanted to catch up because yesterday I forgot to film. And I just watched a TikTok and she was like, um, just because you have white, I, I don't know what's going on with my voice. <clears throat> so sorry about that. But anyway, she was like, um, just because you have white appliances and you live in the real world and living a real life. This one right here, paying all my bills, doing everything myself, okay? As a real one does. I do prefer Christmas treatment, if you're wondering. But does not mean I cannot vlog, cannot show and share with people. So that's what I'm doing. All right, making breakfast. I showed you guys my son's breakfast quickly. This is mine. Um, water with some MSN. And yeah, I'm trying egg. I don't like egg. But I'm trying to get as much protein as I possibly can in the mornings. So this is what I'm eating. Avocado toast. Um, roasted tomatoes. And cheese and salami probably won't eat all of it but we'll see cut up apple because I cut up some apples for my son's breakfast they had apples toast and what else apples toast egg and ham and uh, yeah I'm trying some egg I don't like egg but I'm hoping it's not as bad on the toast but if it is I would just give it to my sons but yeah that's gonna be my breakfast just um, oiled my scalp with this um, I was talking and I was not even filming but it's like a concoction of olive oil castor oil rosemary oil and grapeseed oil and I'm gonna refill it because I have all the oils so I oiled my scalp because it was feeling super dry I'm gonna be working out doing my walks in the total of probably around three hours so I'm okay with it sitting for that long while well, I do that and then this evening I will wash it out. We're gonna go to the gym and do some weightlifting and then when I'm gonna get back, I wanna do some hot yoga in my room with the heat blasting. <laughs> I saw some TikTok videos and I just really wanna try it out. I wanna see if that will just push me to the shredding of the fat that I wanna be in. And then of course, did it 2000 steps per day and uh, we'll be good, let's go. Just quickly, as you can see, I'm trying to reach 10,000 steps per day, and in the beginning of the month, it was a little bit difficult just because I didn't carry my watch with me everywhere, so some days I'm a little bit short, but I know I actually probably did more than 10,000. It's just that I don't have my watch or my phone on me. Even I have a zero day, which was ridiculous because I was in the mall, so I know I did a lot of steps, but yeah, I'm doing pretty well, and I feel like this is just going to help me. Just quickly, I am watching this, uh, Shaman Oaks, and he interviews a woman, I believe her last name is May, but Heather May, on her near-death experience, um, also went to Dutch Bros. But if you have not, I don't know which way is going to be better for lighting, but if you have not, or if you don't, you're not religious, but you're spiritual, or you're spiritual but not religious, or you're atheist as this woman once was. Um, whatever your belief system is, I think it's such a good watch um, and understanding of spiritual 
beyond like our purpose why we're here living being alive and what's next it's got me in some a space that I often go to when I meditate and pray for a long time and seem to get there quickly when I watch something or read something like this but um yeah it has me in a space where I'm thinking oh it's a dog someone's dog outside sorry I'm thinking how am I living my life did I really plan because one of the things she mentions is that we choose our parents. We choose relationships in our lives. We choose um, before we even become into existence in the flesh. We choose these things. Everything's not planned out. But the events or maybe the experiences we want to have are planned out. So I'm just thinking like the way the last. 15 years of my life has been did I really want these experiences um, and the experiences I want to have or desire to have how do I have those experiences in my current space like I, I feel as though I am in a box right and yes sometimes my box widens like oh wow you know i've had this i've gone to this places i've done these things i met these people so my back my box widens but in the back of my mind i know i'm still within the box i am currently and and that could be like I have to work, right? I have to have a nine to five. I I have to live within my means, my means. And then I'm putting a limit. I'm putting a cap on myself because maybe my means is only so much. So then I can't do this. I limit myself without even knowing that I'm limiting myself because I'm staying within this budget or within my means or within this box. So now I hope this analogy, I hope this is understandable, like you can comprehend it. It's very difficult to put into words for some reason. But things happen, right? I go places, I meet these people, have conversations, and then my, my box widens. I am get, trying to get to the point. I'm approaching my life without the box. I do not want to have a limit. I just want to be able to branch out, walk freely without thinking or subconsciously knowing there's a limit to my life, limit to the living experience that I want to have because of obstacles maybe or just the structure of my current living situation so um i'm so sorry if i look rough because i am going through it <laughs> not i'm not going through it but i'm just just figuring this out without coming to a conclusion because that, that is a part of manifesting is that you live and you expect and you sit back and you receive right but because I am the type of personality I've grown up to be, uh, learned to be through my environment, seen people be, I have to come up with the conclusion. For instance, we're going on a trip, right? Going on a trip, I have to know when it's gonna be, who's gonna be there, how much to the T, obviously, um, what's the weather? Like, I have to have the conclusion every day planned out. Otherwise, I feel as though leaving it up to just the universe or just to be 
anything can happen, which is the point. Anything should happen because if I expect the best, the best will happen. But if I expect the worst, I expect to, there to be a bump because I, I didn't plan it out. I didn't have this in order. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, I'm not able to live within the moment. I'm not able to experience being alive. So that's just that's an example. I don't know if that's a good example, but it, it is the example I have. So this is me. Breaking through the box and not allowing there to be limitations within my mind, within my heart, within my spirit. Like just allowing goodness to come to me allowing unexpectedness to come to me allowing myself to live without knowing where the conclusion is coming from there's this other um gosh i will try and find her because she this this experience or situation she had explained it well when she was talking about um how she went to the grocery store and she did not come to a conclusion on how she was going to pay for the groceries but she needed the you know this food and she was like okay i'm going to go buy the food five dollars in my pocket it, it will happen and she didn't let herself come up with the conclusion even and coming up with the conclusion is one thing but i think it's like letting the doubt creep in like oh my god the lady's ringing it up. <laughs> We're getting to the last of it. It's going to be horrible if I have to walk out of here because I don't have enough money or I have to tell them, oh my gosh, I can't afford this. Like, not letting the doubt take over because ultimately the doubt is what brings you to the, the conclusion, right? Oh, this is not going to work out. It's not going to work out. You literally put that word, put your words into the act, into action. And I do that so much and even um this woman heather may if i can find the clip of the woman i was talking about her grocery store experience i will put her name in here but i can't think of her name but i will look for it but this woman was speaking about how we as humans nature right nature because it's in our environment is because it's what we are taught by other humans who also were taught this which is wrong but we don't know how our words affect others, how we're so interlinked, how we are, are we're constantly exchanging energy, even when we don't know it. Like we're thinking negative thoughts about someone, they're receiving it and it's imprinting on them. And so I was thinking about that with my, with my own sons, like the words I say and how bipolar i must seem because someone minute i'm like okay we're gonna pray we're meditating and i'm lifting them up and then i get frustrated with life or unpatient with them with certain things because i'm like oh you should know this or you know better or whatever the case may be it doesn't matter right because every situation um is an opportunity to practice your patience practice your virtue practice what you preach right and I fail almost every time because I get frustrated or I lose my patience and I, I have outbursts. <clears throat> and I'm imprinting and I'm ex exchanging this energy with them that's going to be imprinted on them for long terms, you know, for the rest of their lives. And I'm just like, I don't want them to have this negative energy with them because of this experience i like my youngest he spilled um a water base and broke it on the mid table and he didn't say anything to me <laughs> he didn't say anything but he didn't say anything out of fear right um he didn't say anything out of fear he didn't do anything about it and i just came to the table I'm like oh my god outburst extreme had an outburst then finally he he de he said oh it was me i'm sorry i was scared i didn't know what to do and instead of comforting him and like not comforting him because you know i have to be true to myself but like letting him know it's okay it's just a base like i have plenty which i really do have plenty more um 
but I had an outburst. And then not even 15, 20 minutes later, I'm going to him apologizing because I'm like, I thought about what I said. I thought about how I reacted because I did react to something. And I'm like, I'm that that is exactly why you didn't say anything and you didn't want to say anything because you were afraid of how your mother would react. And I'm sorry that I put that fear on you. That was an energy that I exchanged him from past experience and now he was fearful. So, oh my God, not me about to cry. I'm not going to cry. But I was just thinking about how I can change my thoughts because sometimes they, they are negative and I just have to be able to have not control every little thing but just redirect myself like Lanisha this is is this who you choosing to be is this who you want to be is this what your future self would be proud of do you want to have this negative or are you just reacting oh, I don't know I do know actually <laughs> but it's just mind bottling and it can be a lot to um, constantly have this. It's just like a wave. It's like constantly a wave of emotions. Like whenever I feel like lost, no direction, I have these wave of emotions like come back. Let me come back to reality and think about what you want think about it's it's attainable anything is attainable like stop having doubt stop spreading it it's it's literally like a disease it, it it just invades my life and goes everywhere within the emotional my my work with my friends with my siblings it just spreads like a disease so i really have to instead of having these waves of you know positivity and looking to have more life experience i really need to keep it think about it often especially when i'm in those dark places especially when i find myself uh tiptoeing towards the depths of <laughs> depression i need to stay in this space which is meditating and praying would help with that and, and staying away from things that bring me back down Anyway, that's where I am. Um, and yeah, thank you um, for coming to Lenisha's TED Talk. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next clip. That's it. La 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 la